Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a song I heard last year. They sing it. Niwewe waku wabudiwa Niwewe Niwewe waku wabudiwa Niwewe Can you stop? Can you hold? People don't worship like this. Hallelujah. We worship when we lift up our hands to God. Can you lift up our hands now? Niwewe today I, as I speak your incorruptible word I pray that your power may come down and deliver somebody and set somebody free and heal somebody and lift somebody's business and lift somebody's family and do a miracle for somebody we thank you and we bless you and somebody shout amen hallelujah hallelujah as we are still standing, I want to begin to appreciate the bishop, the man of God, the angel of the house for giving me right hand of fellowship to stand on this altar. Bishop, I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you with mama. You are doing a great work and I really salute you for God, for accepting God to use you in this last generation to encourage these lives. Amen. Church, can you help me appreciate the angels of God? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. I also salute the deacons, the pastors, and the leaders that are working with the bishop in this house and the church at large. Can we put our hands together and appreciate what God is doing in this place? Amen, 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 amen. You may enjoy your seats in the presence of God as we hear this word of God today. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, welcome in the presence of God. Please, if your neighbor is not talking, you better know they are the witches of this service. Turn to another neighbor and tell them, welcome in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I forget, I have some CDs here. I preached in uh, uh, Bishop Alois Rutiv is just up here. Uh, I preached about uh, uh, break, pulling down altars. This is one message that God gave me. I know God has used me in this message. And I will encourage you. I came with very few copies I, I talk about lifting up altar, uh, the definition of the altar, the meaning of the altar, the encounter, these people who serve in the altar, and, and, and how to deal with an evil follower, and how to deal with spoilers. You know, in this life, there are people that are spoilers. You can encounter them after you succeeded in many things. So you can get a CD. I will ask the ushers, one usher to come and pick them. And you can give to the people after the service. Amen. 
I'm Pastor Frederick Opio. Uh, I pastor one of the first growing churches in Singapore. It's called Impact Christian Center. I'm uh, married, so I'm not looking forward to add another one. And uh, we are blessed. We have twins and one big girl. And God is doing us great. Amen. Today I want to speak to us what I call a spontaneous blessing. What I call a spontaneous blessing. A spontaneous blessing is one of the blessings that when you receive it, it boggles the mind of even your enemies. Amen. Uh, I, I want us to begin at looking on some few examples of the people. There are several of them. But I want to look at a few examples that God blessed spontaneously in the Bible. I want us to go to the book of Genesis chapter number 17. Can you bring for me Genesis 17 and verse number 2. Genesis chapter number 17 and verse number 2. We are talking about Abraham. I want us to walk into the Bible and look at the few people that uh, God blessed spontaneously. And I will make my covenant between me and you. This is prophecy. And I will multiply you exceedingly. God is talking to, to Abraham. He's telling him, I will make a covenant of blessing. And he will multiply you exceedingly. To be blessed uh, spontaneously is to be blessed uh, exceedingly. To, 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 to expand in blessing. To multiply in blessing. Example number two. I'm going very fast because of time. Uh, example number two. We are going to look at, uh, at Abraham. We are going to look at Abraham in Genesis 26, verse number 12. Genesis 26 and verse number 12. Then Isaac sowed in the land. This is prophecy of somebody in this house today. I'm saying this is prophecy for somebody in this house today. Then Isaac sowed in that land. And he reaped the same year. A hundred falls. And the Lord blessed him. This year, before I continue, whatever you touch with your hands will multiply in Jesus' name. I prophesy under the power of God from today, anything you plant in the soil, it shall not die in the soil. It shall spring forth. It shall bloom blossoms. And will bring more harvest in your life. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Example number three. Example number three. We are going to look at, uh, uh, at uh, 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 Jacob. Jacob. Genesis chapter 30. And verse number 42. Genesis chapter 30. And verse number 42. But when they were feeble he did not put them in so the feeblest were Laban's and the stronger were Jacob's can you continue out to verse number 43 uh, verse number 43 uh, thus uh, bring verse number 42 verse number 42 but when the flocks were feeble he did not put them in so the feebler ones were Laban's and the stronger Jacob's. Verse number 43. Thus the man became exceedingly prosperous. And he had large flocks, females, and servants, and camels, and donkeys. Those were lorries of those days. Which means God had blessed him exceedingly. Which means when God blesses you, he causes you to be a king by yourself. Praise be to God. When God blesses you, he causes you to be an entity. A kingdom. A kingdom that nobody can ignore. He had possessions. The, the Bible have given examples of possessions that he had. We have seen them in the Bible. And so... That is what God wants to release to us this year. And common harvest. The things you've never touched. The things you've never handled in your hand. 
God wants to release them to you so that you may see the goodness of God upon your life. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Example number three. Example number four. We are going to look at Solomon, which is the last one because, uh, because there are so many. Solomon, can you bring for me uh, First Chronicle chapter 29 and verse number 25. First Chronicle 29, 25. Bible says, So the Lord exalted Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all, not most, not many, not several, but all Israel, and bestowed on him such a royal majesty as has, had never been seen on any king before in Israel. That is a common harvest. Something that somebody has never touched, God released it to you because he has identified that you are the one who is fit for that blessing. Somebody say amen. amen. It's coming upon you this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us look at what happens. Uh, uh, let us look at the contents of blessings. I want us to look at the contents of blessing. The contents of blessing. The content of blessing, number one, is to be fruitful. When you are blessed, you become fruitful. When you are blessed, you become fruitful. To be fruitful means to bear fruits. To be fruitful means to bear fruits. To be fruitful also means to be productive. It means whatever you do, it, it multiplies. It's, it's productive. To be fruitful is to be, pro, to, is to be productive. Uh, to be fruitful also is to increase when, when you are blessed. Uh, 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 you, you, you increase in whatever you do. You don't get confined in one place. You increase whatever you touch increases. Amen? The content number two, the content number two is to multiply. Content number two of blessing, content number two of blessing is to multiply. To multiply means to grow. When you multiply, you grow. When you grow, another uh, to multiply also means to enlarge, which means you you you, you are not uh, confined in one place. You, you enlarge your territory. To uh, to to multiply also means to increase spontaneously. To multiply means to increase spontaneously. To multiply lastly means uh, to become numerous. The people that are blessed, they are not limited in place or distant. Nowhere that is too far for them. They are everywhere. You can see them here. You, you, they are in America tomorrow. They are, they are in Europe the other day. They are numerous. They are everywhere. Their presence is experienced in all places because they are numerous. And, and, and whatever they do affect many lives or, or rather impact many lives because they are numerous. Amen? Amen. Content number three. Content number three is to replenish. To replenish means to refill. To replenish means to refill. To replenish also means to restock. If you replenish, you have restock. You, you, you stock. To replenish also means to renew. To replenish also means to restore the things that are lost. You get, they get restored. When you are blessed, you, you, you possess the things that the devil had stolen from you. You restore them back to your bosom. When you are blessed also, you fill the vacuum. When you are blessed, you fill the vacuum. That's why the Bible says, whenever we tread our feet, whenever our feet will step, we shall possess that place. Which means any empty place belongs to you. Ah, that man is offending me. I'm saying any empty place belongs to you. That man is not born again. I'm saying any empty place belongs to you. And I prophesy the things you've never seen in your life. May God release them to you in 2015. I decree right now the things you've never carried in your life. May you carry them from this year in Jesus' mighty name. If any man have been stopping you to receive what belongs to you, I pray today in the name of Jesus. May God remove them out of your way in Jesus' name I pray number five to subdue 
Number four, when you are blessed, you subdue. When you are blessed, content number four, when you are blessed, you subdue. To subdue means to conquer. You become a conqueror. You conquer everything you do. When you get in business, all your neighbors, they close their shop. You, 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 you become a conqueror. You, you know how to conquer business. When you enter in an office, anybody in that office get demoted and you get promoted because you are a conqueror. Hallelujah. To, to subdue also means to defeat. Subdue also means to enforce. To subdue also means to enfire or to inflame. To subdue means to enfire or to inflame. Which means you, you become like a bomb. Nobody touches you. you. You become untouchable. Whoever touches you encounters the, the hand of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Do you know the people that are really blessed of God, when you touch them, you meet the wrath of God automatically. That's the blessing I'm talking I'm not talking about a blessing that you can still be stolen and somebody goes free. I'm talking about a blessing that whatever you have, God protects it. I want you to write this down. Where, where God has treasures, where God has treasures, he offers security. Where God has treasures, he offers security. So when you are really blessed of God, he also offers security of God comes over you. Somebody say amen. amen. Which means you cannot buy a car and die on that car. That is forbidden of God. You, you, you cannot get married with a man that bucks you every day. That's not the blessing of God. When you are really blessed of God, God offers security over you. Which means if everybody dies on a road accident, you are protected of God. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when everybody dies on an, or, or in a Westgate mall, you still survive out of it without being injured of anything. Because God has treasure on you and he offers security over you. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Number five. Content number five is dominion. When you are blessed, God releases dominion over you. Which means you become authority. Tell your neighbor, this year you will become authority. Please, some people are offending me the way they talk. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, this year you will become authority. You will become authority. Uh, number five, we say dominion. Dominion means leadership. You lead everybody. You become on top. Hallelujah. When you, when you have dominion, it means you gain command. Whatever you say, it has authority. What, when you're really blessed, everything you say, it, it has authority. Which means what you say, even if it is wrong, people say, that's right, that's right. That, 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 that's okay. Have you really seen the people that are really blessed? Even if they shrub, instead of saying shilling, they say ceilings. People say, that is right. People, you know, when you are really blessed, you gain command, you gain authority. Amen. Amen. That's what, that is your portion this year. I'm saying that is your portion this year. Dominion also means supremacy supremacy you 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 are above you you are supreme above everything you are authority you you are on top there hallelujah supremacy when you are blessed no you don't sell your name to people when you are blessed you are really blessed you don't go places you tell people i am called so and so i am the the manager or i am the doctor you don't tell people like that when you are blessed god releases influence that is that cannot be stopped and stopped influence somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah when you are really blessed god releases influence your name become known bible says our name shall be known in far land 
Which means when you are in Zimmerman, people know your name in Australia. They, they acknowledge what you are doing. Which means you have become an influence of society. When you become an influence of society, you, it means you are contributing to the lives of other destinies. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Let me tell you something. When you have influence, you don't struggle to look for things. Things look for you. Are you getting what I'm saying? You don't go out looking for things. Things begin to look for you. They begin to locate where you are. May that be your portion this 2015. I'm saying may that be your portion in 2015. May the things you've been pursuing, let them begin to locate you. I decree now in Jesus name whatever God had addressed to you it shall not go to your neighbor whatever God had addressed to you in 2015 it shall not fall on the ground I decree right now in Jesus name whatever God had blessed you with nobody will scatter it in Jesus name amen hallelujah what happens when you are blessed? What happens when you are blessed? Number one. What happens when you are blessed? Number one. Unusual wealth and abundance. God releases unusual wealth and abundance. Unusual wealth and abundance. If you have one billion and all your children are sick in your house, you are still poor. Let me repeat it. If you have one million in your account and all your children are still sick, you have a pharmacy in your bedroom, you are still poor. Hallelujah. When God really blesses you, he releases you from every chains of the devil. That is what the blessing means. The blessing means you are out of bondage of the devil. Hallelujah. So if you have one million in account today, let me tell you, money cannot buy life. It is a blessing of God. When God blesses you with life, he has blessed you automatically. No doctor can change it. It doesn't matter what the doctor says. When God says you are healed today, you are really healed. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. If I have one billion in your account today. And at night you don't sleep. You're not blessed. You are not blessed. The blessings of God. Bible says. The blessings of God. They make people rich. And they do what? Which means when you have a lot of money. And you don't sleep at night. You are still troubled. You are still cast. You need to be delivered today. Somebody say amen. You need the finger of God to pull you out of that struggle. Hallelujah. What happens when you are blessed? Unusual influence and authority. Unusual influence and authority. When, what happens when you are blessed? Number three. Extreme joy. God releases joy in your heart. When you are really blessed, God releases joy. Extreme joy, gladness and peace. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse number 22. We don't read that one because of time. Proverbs 10 verse number 22. We won't read it because of time. What happens when we are blessed? Number three, number four, supernatural favor. Supernatural favor. Favor is divine, uh, divine acceptability, likability, and attractability of God that comes upon humanity. Favor is God's perfume. God's divine perfume that comes upon humanity that no odor can quench. Favor is the capacity of God bestowed upon humanity. Favor is the power of God that causes things to happen upon your life. May that favor come upon you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm saying may that favor come upon you today in the name of Jesus. When God releases favor on you, Nobody can reject you. 
You cannot re be rejected. You cannot be looked down upon. You, you, you cannot be, be forgotten. You cannot be ignored. Listen to me, child of God. There is a tendency of the world that people look down on the people that don't matter. Is that true? If you don't matter, nobody wants to greet you. But if you matter, people want to hug you. They want to hold you. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy to somebody here today. In this 2015. If there is one thing that God has to do for you. May his favor shine on your face. I'm saying may his favor shine on your face. May his favor cause you to be accepted. Attracted. And to be acknowledged. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let the favor of God locate you where you are. Let the favor of God find you right where you are. Somebody say amen. amen. Because of favor, I prophesy. Wherever you step, God will push you to another level. Amen. Because of favor, I prophesy. Today in Jesus' name. Because of favor, this is prophecy. Any door you knock from today, I'm saying from tomorrow, any door that you will knock, the Lord shall open in for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of favor, your children will not go haywire. God will favor your family. I prophesy to your children right now. They will not be gangsters. They will, they will not be prostitutes. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. God will favor you. God will favor your siblings. God will favor your children. Somebody say yes. yes. Bishop, it is a high disgrace. It's a very high disgrace. For somebody to take his child. He says, all my investment. All my strength. I want to invest my children. Because I know one day. When they grow up. They will help me. You take all your strength. Your money. Your treasures. Everything that you have. You say I want to invest on my children. But when they grow up. They turn to be prostitutes. They turn to be useless people. They turn to be people that don't help. Anybody in this society. I prophesy today. In the name of Jesus, your labor will not go in vain. I say your labor will not go in vain. I prophesy today, any zombie will not be found in your family. Somebody say amen. The people that are insane will not be found in your family. Somebody say yes. yes. Hallelujah. Lastly, what happens when you're blessed? Supernatural defense and preservation. What happens when you're blessed? Supernatural defense and preservation. Number seven, number six, or number seven, what happens when you're blessed? Number six. Number six, or number seven, landmark development and infrastructure. When you're blessed, God releases landmark development. And infrastructure. Which means you become owner of properties. You become a landlord. You, you, you qualify to be a landlord. You, you cross the bridge of being a tenant to, to the club of landlords. That is where God positions you. You, you. you have development and infrastructures that are under your command. They are under your authority. I release it to you today. I'm saying I release it to you today. I'm saying I release it to you today. Whatever makes people not to receive. If it is a spirit. I declare right now. What makes you not to receive. What belongs to you. Today in Jesus name. I decree and I declare. May you receive what belongs to you. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me finish with this. Keys of blessing, number one. Keys of blessing, number one. 
To bless is to be blessed. To bless is to be blessed. Key number one is to, to bless is to be blessed. Genesis chapter 12, verse number 2. Can you bring for me that? Genesis chapter 12 and verse number 2. Uh -huh. Let's go to number 2. Key number 2. Okay. Bible says, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. Which means when you are blessed, you become a blessing. Anywhere you enter, people begin to smile because you are a blessing. There are people, Bishop, they are blessed, but they are a curse. They, they have a lot, and let me not use bless. Let me use, they have a lot of money. They are rich, but they are a curse. When they enter, everybody is frightened because they are trouble. They are noisemakers. They, they can cause trouble anytime. They are rich, but they are not blessed. But there are people that when you see them, you begin to smile. Your face change. Because to be blessed, to bless is to, when you are blessed, you become a blessing to other people. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying? Let me tell you what happens in the church today. Somebody, your neighbor, can go hungry and you have more than enough. You are not blessed. I'm telling you the truth. You are not blessed. When you are really blessed, giving is not a problem to you. People that are really blessed, when they are told to give one million in the church, Bishop, do you know Muslim? I, I, I do ministry in, in, in Singapore, but we have a church in Malaysia also. Let me tell you something. One man, a Muslim man, can say, this church today is overpacked. Over you see the way it is overpacked? One man can say, I'm giving five million. And they give to the, to the house of mosque. They give it. They don't feel anything. But in the church, let me tell you, Bishop, the church, if somebody gives 10,000, they go on radio. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If they give 10,000 in the church, they go on television. They begin to announce. That church we have really given. We have really given in that church. I don't know what is happening there. We have really given. Let me tell you, child of God, you are bringing a curse upon your generation. You are bringing a curse upon your generation. Because when you are really blessed, giving is not a problem to you. Tell your neighbor, one of my resolutions, tell your neighbor, turn to, pitch them, tell them, one of my resolutions in 2015, I will give without feeling. Tell your neighbor, another neighbor, tell them, neighbor, in 2015, if he's supporting the work of God, I will support without feeling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you see Bishop with a nice suit there, you begin to announce in television. Lastly, I finish. My time is over. Key number two. Key number two. To obey is to be blessed. To obey is to be blessed. Just obey. There is a song that sings. Ta la 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 la. La 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 la. Ta ta ra ta ra ta ta ra. Ta ra ra ta ra ra. Ta la 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 la. Ta ta ta. Trust and obey. For there is. Who be up? One more time we sing. For it's no other way. Tell your neighbor, just obey even without understanding. Even if you don't understand. Write this down. There is divine blessing for obedience. There is divine blessing for obedience. 
When Bishop says, let us all come and pray in the church from tomorrow. Some of you, you go and watch TV, you watch television, you just sit down, you don't, you don't care about prayer, you just sit there, but when the demon begins to possess you at night, you come to Bishop and Mama, you tell them, please Bishop, pray for me. Bishop, I ask you please, by the grace of God, this year, don't pray for people. This year, don't pray for them, because they, they like to use us as praying machines. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When people are asked, come and pray. Come and pray. You stay in your house. You say, I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. My schedule is very tight. My, my, my program is, is tight. I, can, I cannot find time. I'm a busy man. Let me tell you, the devil can locate you from your busy schedule. <laughs> the devil can find you from your busy shadow and torment you with sickness that cannot be cured by doctors then you begin to come to bishop bishop pray for me let me tell you pray because that is what Jesus said why don't you pray Jesus says to his disciples why don't you pray even one hour why don't you pray let me tell you something bishop you know, in Asia, I have five minutes. In Asia, uh, the Bible says that the children of the heathen have become wiser than the children of God. And that is true. Because the people that are heathen, like those, Muslim, those Buddhists in Asia there, you know what they do? They are committed to their God. They are fully committed to their God. Whatever they are told to do, they do with all obedience. Because their God has a spirit to bless them. But the children of God, when they are told to come for prayers, they look at Bishop, they say this one. <laughs> they say this one. Why must we pray? We pray because God answers prayers. Are you getting what I'm saying? God still answers prayers. Just obey. Lastly, lastly, content number three, content, uh, key number three, key of blessing number three, to tithe is to be blessed. To tithe is to be blessed. When you are a tither, you are blessed. When you are a title, I am a pastor bishop, but I've come to realize when people earn 10,000, they are faithful in tithing. Hallelujah. Because giving 1,000 is, is very easy. When, when they, they begin to earn 20,000, giving 2,000 begins to come a problem. They give, give 1,800. When they earn 100,000, they now go down. They give 2,000 on an envelope. They say, this is my tithe to God. Write this down. It is more blessed to have 90% of your increase that is blessed of God than 100% of your increase that is cast of God. When you earn a hundred thousand, let me tell you something. The reason why your children, some of people's children, they, they, they misbehave, they, they go out of way because you are not a tither. You are not a tither. You don't know how to tithe. The reason why sickness cannot come of your house, out of your house, you are not faithful tither. When you give two thousand, when Bishop says now it is time for tithing, you envelope 2,000 and you come so humble, you're so humble, and you give it on the church there, the altar. Let me tell you, what happens on this altar is so divine. Altar, write this down. I didn't want to mention this. Altar is a raised platform where humanity encounters divinity. Altar is a raised platform. So when you make a step, when you're coming to tithe, you are lying to God. 
you're coming with your tithe. You come to tithe with 2,000 and you earn 100,000. You are lying to God because altar is a raised platform where humanity encounters divinity. Altar also is an airport of spirits. Airport of spirits. This is where spirits land and spirits take off. After this service, there are spirits that are ministering. God delegates spirits to minister to us because we have come to an altar. So when you tie to God faithfully, God releases that spirit that causes people to be blessed spontaneously. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Shake your neighbor and tell your neighbor, don't lie to God this year. Can you turn to a neighbor, another neighbor, tell them, don't lie to God this year. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Because most of us, the reason why we are running helter skelter, we hear another man is pulling people's hand. If you don't have hands, you go to that meeting, they pull your hands, it comes out. If you don't have eyes, they, they put on your eyes. If you hear such things on some meetings, you run there. The reason why you're going there, you're not blessed. You don't know what God does in your life when you obey and submit to the man that is operating on this altar. You know, the people that, write this down. Oh my God, my time is over. The people that operate like, like me, when the people that operate on this altar, we are called enchanters. Just like those enchanters that enchant over you when you go to visit them on a small corridor somewhere. We are also enchanters. That's why whatever we declare, it becomes authority. When Bishop says 2015 is a year of uncommon harvest. When he stands on this altar and declares that, the spirits around, they hear that word. They know that the man under authority has spoken a word. Hallelujah. So, that word there, uncommon harvest, is just not, it's just a word. It's a spirit. There is a spirit, write this down. There is a spirit that empowers the word of an enchanter. There is a spirit that empowers the word of an enchanter. When a word is proceed from this altar, it carries a spirit to manifest. Hallelujah. See you in the second service. Can we stand on our feet? Just lift up your hands to God. Just lift up your hands to God. Tell him, Lord, deliver me from unfaithfulness. Tell him, Lord, change my reasoning. Tell him, Lord, Deliver me from the bondage of this world. Lift up your hands to God, I pray for you. Father, I commit your people in your hands. Behold, we stand on your altar. How I pray that we may, you may encounter us upon this mountain today. There is somebody that believes you for a miracle. There is somebody that believes you for a healing. There is somebody that needs a capital to begin a business. There is also another person that trusts to see you in their life, in their marriage today. I pray my father that you may meet your people today. Manifest yourself as God. Let people see you today. I prophesy over them right now. From today, let them encounter and come on harvest upon their businesses, upon their working places, upon their marriages. Let them encounter and come on blessing. Lord, we thank you. We honor you. Welcome, Bishop. Thank you.